Hey everybody! I'm gonna give y'all just a few minutes to jump on here while I finish setting up our stuff here. I hope you had a good day. It is my Friday night. This is my Friday. Tomorrow's my Saturday. There's my, my hubby John. First one on. <laughs> hey, Kathy, welcome. I'm a little embarrassed about how wrinkled my shirt is now that I got on here and seen what I look like on video. Okay, don't forget to tell me when you jump on here who invited you to class, okay? That's important. That is important. I want to know who invited you to class. I'm going to take this beautiful desert mist diffuser box and set y'all guys up just a little bit. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, I invited you, Kathy. <laughs> hey, Emily, welcome. How's it going? Hope you had a good day. As you can see in the background, I've got this is John's. Um, this is the rainstone diffuser and ionizer, and that's what I got going on back there in the back. I have longevity in it today, which was something that I got for free. Yes, I invited you, Emily. I'm excited that you're here. Okay, so welcome, welcome. Like I said, even if you're watching the replay, make sure when you jump on here that you tell me who invited you, okay? All right, hey Reagan, so glad you're here, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Reagan just got her kit, I'm so excited for her. So I'm glad y'all are here, and um, I'll try to keep reminding people to let me know who invited them when, um, when they jump on here, okay? So, um, let me tell you a little bit about me. I, my name, if you don't know me, how rude of me, my name is Candace Simmerly, and I'm a Young Living Executive. Um, I've been using oils a little over three years, and I started using oils because I was introduced to oils from a mama friend um, at our music class, and um, I had babies, and I just wanted to do better for my kids. I saw somebody else who was using natural stuff on their kids. I'm like, oh my gosh, um, I want to do that for my kids. I want to, um, I, I got to learning about what's in the stuff, and it really worried me. So um, that's how I started is I wanted to do better for my kids. So, um, hey, Cynthia, welcome. So um, that's, I got my kit, and I just jumped in, and I wanted all the things because I loved every single thing that I tried. I jumped right on Essential Rewards, which is Young Living's um, monthly auto ship program where you can um, pick, you don't have to pick the same thing every month, but I, I pick something different every month um, because um, I just tried something different um, each month to rid my house of chemicals. So um, fast forward um, now, looking back on our journey, we, like I said, we took lots of chemicals out of our home. We found natural solutions. Um, we've had so many little oily um, victories. But for me personally, um, I had huge hormonal turnaround. Um, and I really believe it wasn't just from just putting oils on my body. It was so much of what we took out of our house. We were just more um, educated on what was in the stuff that we were using. And so um, when we took out the chemicals from our home, my, my liver was less taxed. We have hereditarily junky livers in my family. So my liver was less taxed and um, my hormones were just so much better. My face is like not perfect, but like this is like my face is clearer than it's ever been. Hey, Cynthia, welcome, or Elizabeth, welcome. Um, so um, that was like one of the first things was like, you know, I don't, all I have on right now is chapstick. And a couple years ago, I would have not done this, let alone not done it without like covering my face in concealer. So um, that's just one of the many things. Um, one of the first products that I started using to help um, support my hormones was Progescence Plus. But now it's just, um, I don't have the the bombardment of the fake estrogens in the products that we put on our body. So it's just a lot better. Um, that's my little, that's my story. That's my testimony about um, what oils have done for me. So um, yeah, that's, that's it in a nutshell. Um, and just a personal like 
message for like I know a lot of, most of everybody who usually comes or watches it's women folk okay so just a little side note of the thing that I've been learning about is that the statistic is we put like 300 different chemicals on our bodies before breakfast like if you count hair makeup face wash and like your lotion your 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 whatever you wash yourself in your deodorant 300 chemicals and most of them are hormonal they disrupt your hormones okay so um it's just kind of scary um when you put stuff on like i used you know we you say it really matters what you eat well it really matters what you put on your body because you don't get the same um your your skin is a barrier in some ways but it's also like a sponge it's a living organ and when you take stuff in your body by mouth it gets broken down you go through saliva through your gut you excrete out the bad stuff for lack of a more beautiful way to put it so um Really be more mindful of what actually goes on your skin. It just goes directly into your bloodstream, okay? It's really, I mean, your pores, it's just a gateway. And there's nothing that's breaking it down or, or you know, there's no stomach juices. There's nothing um, breaking down the bad stuff, okay? So that's just my little personal message from me to all you other women folk that are watching this video, okay? Um, if you're just jumping on, hi, hi, Charity. Tell me who invited you. Welcome. I'm Candace, and I'm also supposed to say I cannot diagnose or treat any diseases. I'm just here to talk about how essential oils can help your body systems, um, help support you um, and your body systems um, for a, a more healthy, abundant life, just living above the wellness line, living the life of prevention so um, your body is healthy and can do the things that it needs to do. Okay? All right, so let's start out. This is the basics, so let's talk about what the heck is an essential oil. So, the Candace version of that is that it is like the lifeblood of a plant, okay? Oils are plant juices. They come from the plant, and they're the lifeblood of the plant. Um, it's kind of like if you think about our blood, what it does in our body, it circulates oxygen and nutrients and stuff inside of our body. That's kind of what oils do for a plant, okay? Um... Oil molecules are super tiny, small, so they can get in and do stuff in our body at like a molecular level. It's really cool. Um, they come, oils come from all different types of plants. It's usually like from shrubs, like, you know, leaves, stems, um, some's resin from bark. The citrus oils come from the cold pressed rinds. And then the other stuff, like I was talking about the shrubs, the leaves, the stems, whatever part of the, the root, whatever part of the plant it comes from, that's usually um, steam distilled, meaning that it's cooked up and the water and the oil separates, um, and that's how they make the oil. Um, that's just the basics there. So I wanted to take a moment to talk about the, the, the process, not to, like to confuse you guys or like if you're not a sciencey person, this is not meant to like make you feel like, oh, I've got to know all this technical stuff. But, um, why I chose Young Living Essential Oils is because of the care that they take in their process and their transparency. Um, I just trust them very, very much. Um, Young Living has this thing called Seed to Seal or the Seed to Seal Promise. And you can even go to seedtoseal.com. There's a whole website about it. They take such care of this product from the time that it is a seed or even before it's a seed when they're cultivating, trying to find the right seeds, the ground that they put it in. They don't even want pesticides on it, okay? Um, when it grows, while it's growing, they don't put pesticides on it. They either hand weed or they use more like um, byproduct from like the plant matter um, like, like if an oil repels bugs, for example, then they might put that plant matter from that distillation process on the, the ground, like as a natural way to keep bugs off. Like you plant marigolds or something, you know what I mean? Hey Misty, welcome. Um, so that's very tedious. They also, um, they also have, um, a very scientific, approach to when they distill the plant it has to be exactly the right time and um, they will do test distillations like every hour for weeks to make sure like that that essential oil got processed at the right time so it is the best for you um, 
also a lot of a lot of other country uh, companies or like when you buy something from the grocery store, you don't really know what's in it. Um, I learned that for someone for something to say organic or pure, all it has to have is five percent essential oil in it. Five percent. So the other ninety five percent could be solvents or stretchers or alcohols or um, it could just be floral water. It couldn't. It might not even be like pure essential oils. Um, so that's what sets Young Living aside. It really is therapeutic grade A. Some other stuff might say it's real, but it's not. Um, also, they do not they do not overheat their um, when they distill. So some some companies are going to give you a more heated product to yield more stuff out of their 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 plant matter. Um, just to make more, but Young Living is going to give you the first distillation at the right temperature, so it is the most um, the most complex oil with the most real results. Um, one of the examples that I listen I listen to stuff all the time, and um, there's this one lady I love her. If you like technical stuff, you can listen to Jen O'Sullivan. It's like essential oils in the human body. That's her um, Facebook group, and she has her videos online. She said like cypress oil, for example, is heated to a certain temperature and it has like 250 some different con uh, chemical constituents in it like the different properties that do different things in the oil and the difference in like 10 degrees heat in that oil could make it only have like just a few like just a dozen of those instead of 250 or less so um, it's really important that you're getting your oils from someone who is is doing the process right to where you're going to get the best um you're going to get the best product that does stuff. Hey, Jessica, and hey, Julianne, welcome. Um, so, that is why I chose YL, and I talked a lot longer than that than I thought I was, but I just am so passionate. And I'm going, a week from today, I'm going to, to Idaho to the um, Highlands Flat Farm, and I'm going to watch spruce be made. I'm so excited. Um, like, we're going to go out and watch them cut down the trees, drag them in, chip them up, put them in the big distillation um, vats, steam it up, and watch the whole process. So just, I'll probably blast um, Facebook with all the pictures. So you can keep up with me next week. I will be, um, a week from today, I will be um, flying to Idaho. So exciting. I'm actually going to see it. That's how transparent they are. You can actually go see them do that. Okay, so next we're going to talk about the three ways that you can use these oils, okay? Aromatically, I know, Kathy, maybe next year you should go. <laughs> um, so aromatically, which means through your nose, which is where the word aromatherapy comes from, topical on your skin, and then um, ingesting it, okay? So let's talk a little bit about each way and a few little safety tips. Um, so aromatic, like I said, Aroma through your nose, aromatherapy. Um, I just thought that oils smelled pretty at first because they really did. They smell great, okay? Um, but guess what? They're more than smell good stuff. Um, they actually do stuff in your brain. So your nose, your smell is um, linked to your limbic system when you smell things. It's, it's the only way. When you breathe things in, it's the only way to the limbic system, which is your emotional control center for your body. And what's so cool about this emotional control center is it also is linked to things like your blood pressure, your heart rate, um, um, hormones, like... Um, don't quote me on this, but maybe like cortisol levels, things that have to do with your stress, okay? So by smelling the oils, it doesn't, like you, you, everybody thinks like, oh, lavender is relaxing, but you never really think about, like it actually does real things in your body to change what is going on, to calm things down, like on like the central nervous level. So pretty cool. Um, some safety with um, aromatic use. So you can just put it on your hands and smell it that's great it does stuff there but also like I have um, John's uh, rainstone diffuser in the background um, that is even more beneficial because it's dispersing in tiny little particles through the air so you're breathing it in getting it getting it all in there it's also the safest form of um, of use because it's diluted it's in water it's running over you know, depending on which um, diffuser, diffuser you have, like four to ten hours worth of time. Um, so it's just a very gentle form of use. It's going to make your house smell good. Um, it's going to help dust settle. 
Um, even if you don't put oils in it, they say it's good for like the dust to settle. Um, this one has an ionizer on it as well. And um, depending on what oil you use, it's what benefit you're going to use. Like for example, um, Thieves Oil, um, I put that one in the diffuser. Um, if I've been around somebody that's down with something or I'm afraid I'm coming down with something, um, that's something that I want to breathe in to help boost my immune system. Okay, um, so that's aromatic use. Oh, and if you have small children, I've never had any trouble diffusing around my kids, but just make sure that um, kids and pets have a well-ventilated space. So just make sure that you um, open the door. You're not shutting them up in a small room with no ventilation and the oils, okay? Common sense stuff, okay? Hey, Angel. Um, okay, next is topical use. That means putting it on your skin. I break down topical use into two categories. Um, the hokey pokey stuff and the stuff that is discomfort, okay? Hokey pokey stuff, let's talk about that first. So there is some schools of thought that you place oils on certain places in your body to correspond with certain emotions. Um, there's like hand charts, there's foot charts. I'm like, have you ever heard that your anger is stored in your liver, okay? There's something to it. I can't say I understand all of it, but there's something to it. So that's one way of topical use is putting it where it corresponds with the emotion or the place in your body, okay? And there's a whole book on that called um, Releasing Emotional Patterns with Essential Oils. I think it's by Carolyn Mine. It's my favorite emotional support book, and you can get it on Amazon, and it's very inexpensive. It has all the charts, tells you where to put your oils, and what to say to yourself, like the affirmation to help you get over emotional blocks, okay? Um, the next, like I said, was like putting something where... You want to support the body. Like, where is your discomfort? Um, when you, let's say you worked out really hard and you have some um, discomfort in your shoulder, okay? You can support your shoulder by putting um, some pan away on it or some copaiba or peppermint. Like, that's what I would, would choose if I had a discomfort in my shoulder. And I have to think about what I say because, like I said, I can't say, like, diagnoses I can't treat things so that's why I say supports and systems and things like discomfort okay um, that's why I'm dancing around those words and I have to think I have to be compliant um, and tell you how this will support your body systems okay okay we have a question let's take a time out and look at this question how can I clean an air diffuser that hasn't been used in a while the leftover oils have gotten stuck to the sides of it. Okay, I use Thieves Cleaner um, or some lemon oil to clean my um, my diffusers. And um, sometimes I'll even take like a cheap plastic toothbrush or a um, cheap plastic um, paintbrush that has the plastic bristles that are kind of hard. And I'll just put that down in the bottom of it and then swish it around that metal plate and it will get some of the gunk off of it. Um, you might just have to fill it up with some lemon oil or thieves cleaner and just let it sit a while and then and then just kind of brush it out. And sometimes if you use oils like that have like for instance thieves has I guess the cinnamon in it or the clove is brown. Sometimes it does kind of stain it for a while until I like use something different. But I've never had any problems. If that don't work, let me know and we'll find you another solution. But that's what I do and I haven't had any problems. Okay, next let's talk about ingesting. Which is one, yes, a Q-tip is okay, but a Q-tip might leave, like, the cottony stuff in it. And that's why I use those cheap plastic toothbrushes is because, like, I know the stuff isn't going to come out in it. But a Q-tip can work fine as long as it's not, like, coming apart. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to backtrack. Topical use again. I forgot to say some of the safety stuff. First off, if you have sensitive skin especially, you need to, you're welcome, you need to um, make sure you do a test patch, okay? Certain oils are spicy or hot or like peppermint has a very strong cooling effect. And if you um, get it in the wrong places, it can burn. So you might need to use some carrier oil along with it. Um, so carrier oil is like olive oil or coconut oil. Um, for like fractionated coconut oil or the hard coconut oil. I like avocado because it doesn't have a smell. And it's really close to the natural sebums in your skin. So, um, that's, um, that's what I call carrier oil. It does not actually dilute the oils per se that it makes them less effective. It just slows down, um, like them getting in your body 
or keeping them on your skin like a great thing to do is called casing which means you drop your oils on your body then you put carrier oil on afterwards to like case it in and keep it on so it doesn't just like evaporate into the air um also if you ever get oils in your eyes or a membrane that you shouldn't have do not use water to flush it out because they repel and it will just burn worse so you want to actually flush it out with something fatty like your olive oil or um avocado oil if you were in a pinch and you had some like whole fat milk i would use milk before like i used water okay because at least it's fatty you want something fatty to dilute it okay so um you never want to get oils in your eyes or in your membranes. You don't put oils down your ears. You um, can use oils sublingually under your tongue. That's a good way to get them directly into your bloodstream through the little, There's, it's like very close to, to your blood vessels there. Um, you can put them on your tongue, but that's more for like your di digestive tract. Um, some oils are photosensitive, so you would want to apply topically like lemon or citrus oils, orange, um, bergamot, grapefruit and then just go directly out into the sunlight and if you're sensitive even more so you would you wouldn't want to do that and um if you have kids and you're using them on the kids they're more sensitive you might want to dilute a lot heavier for them so normally for me when i make like a roller bottle i put my oils in and then i fill mine halfway up with carrier oil and for my kids i fill it all the way to the top that's just my that's just my rule of thumb um, how I use on my kids. My kids are older now. They're four and five. They're not like little babies anymore. Well, nearly four and one just turned five. So, um, that's worked great for us. So, let's see. Ingesting. Let's talk about that next. Um, there's a lot of controversy about ingesting. Some people think you shouldn't ingest oils. Um, I wouldn't ingest any oils unless they were Young Living because you don't know what you're ingesting. But um, Young Living does have what we call the Vitality line. And I don't know if you can see this. They have white bottles. Um, like, for example, here's a Thieves Vitality here. And this is also Thieves. But this one's in a white bottle and this one's in a, in a red bottle. And the difference is, is that um, these are labeled for ingest, ingestion. Each bottle of oil has um, how you should dilute it, like how many drops of um, carrier oil you would need per drop of essential oil to dilute it. Um, it's like just safety. Um, so the ones with the white bottle say the same thing. So if you want to put it in a capsule and ingest it, or if you wanted to put it in like a cup of water, all you need is a drop or two. You do not need to, um, to use more than like one or two drops with this stuff, especially starting out because they are strong, okay? Um, so yeah, you can use these in a capsule. You can make your very own capsule, um, the just clear vegetable capsules, or um, you can just put a couple drops in your, I've got some Thieves tea right here that's cooling down. I just boil water and put a couple drops of Thieves in it. And then sometimes I um, even um, put like a squirt of honey. Hey, Christina, welcome. So always use stainless or glass or something that's not plastic. Um, Essential oils are so good at what they do, like lemon is so detoxifying that if you put lemon oil in a glass of, of water with a, a plastic cup, it will actually, you'll see a ring around the cup. It eats it. It, it, it detoxifies petrochemicals. So you will be drinking that nasty stuff. So do not drink essential oils out of a plastic cup, okay? All right, now let's move along to the oils. We're going to talk about the basic oils, okay? Um... These are the oils that come in the starter kit and um, the diffusers over here too and the samples. We're going to talk about these first. Um, if, if you don't know where to start or you feel overwhelmed, this is just, I just think this is a great place to start because you have something in your tool belt for every little problem. As you will see, we'll talk about all the different body systems it supports. Another thing, I never thought of it this way um, until just the other day, somebody else had said this, um, like if you get this kit and you have a problem and you say, I need to support this body system, there's literally a product for, or a oil for every body system in here, or there's some combination that you can, you know, use to support the body, body systems. If you have all these oils, I can tell you how to help yourself. And I just think that's so cool that they've, it's so thoughtful of how they've put these together. So let's talk about the first one here. This is lemon. It's a vitality oil meaning that like we said it's labeled for ingestion um because the fda says that you can't label 
it for two or three different things. So this one's labeled for ingestion, but know that it comes in the counterpart that is for aromatic and topical use. Um, lemon is a detoxifying oil. It, um, if you put it on something like, um, like if I put it over here on my, my table that has this sticky spot on it as probably who knows what on it, um, it will, it will take the sticky out. It's like a natural goo gone. Um, I heard someone say they clean their dry erase boards with this stuff, okay? Um, if you um, put it in your um, face care stuff, I think it's supposed to like help um, to natural to like help the levels of your um, sebum to keep you um, your sebum regulated in your skin so um, it controls like the oils in your face. Um, it has a cheery smell. It's happy but calming. It um, it can be an uplifter, okay? Just so many different things. But I think the best way to use it every day is um, just to have a drop in your water. It's so refreshing. It helps your digestive system. It detoxifies. Your, it helps detoxify and cleanse your body. Um, you're just going to feel better. It's, it, it will help keep you alkaline, too, so bad things can't grow. If you're um, success, susceptible to, like candida and things like that it's going to help your body systems um fight against that okay all right next here is copaiba i know funny name i didn't know what it was for but it's kind of like um a gentle yet strong little oil this is the vitality one so um put this in some tea um a couple drops in water it's got a mild just kind of mild spicy aroma uh, and scent flavor whatever you want to say it's from a resin from a tree so it's very grounding it's good for for focus for brain it's good it's a magnifier so topically if you're using the one topically um it's a great oil to add to other oils to make them to magnify their properties and i like to use this when i have a discomfort as well um it has beta caryophylline as one of its chemical constituents and that is something it i'm not saying this is cbd oil i'm not saying that's what this but it has one of the same chemical constituents that cbd oil has in it so it helps your body systems um helps your body um in response like to irritation okay so that's that's the chemical background okay next is dijaz this is a blend of oils to help for digestion okay this is the Vitality one, so you can take this in a drop of, um, take a drop in your water or in a capsule. If you um, want to rub it on topically, it has the counterpart to do that. You can rub it on right on your belly or you know up here if you get if you have that problem. Um, it's uh, you, I used to think it was kind of stinky, but now I like the smell of Dye Dries. Um, so you have something for your tummy. So so see you can detox, cleanse, help support. Um, uh, discomforts and your tummy all in the first three oils next is thieves this is all things immunity okay this supports your immune system it smells like Christmas and if you don't know the story it's called thieves because um, they're back in like the grave robber days like way back when people would like put their their the bodies in the graves and they didn't and embalm them and they put the, all their treasures with them there was grave robbers well, this certain group of grave robbers didn't get sick. And it was a terrible, nasty job because they were all just rotten bodies everywhere. There's lots of disease. So, they traded their secret in for a lesser punishment when they got caught. And their secret was that they, they like, rubbed themselves down in these, um, these oils and herbs. So, it's rosemary, clove, lemon, um, cinnamon, and I drew a blank... I missed one. Rosemary, lemon, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus. That's the one I forgot. Okay. So that's the five oils that are, that's in it. And that's why it's called Thieves. And I'm having a cup of Thieves Vitality Tea right now. If you have discomfort in your throat, the clove in this will help um, numb it and um, help you get through that. Um, this is one that I like to rub down my kids spine and on their feet especially if they act like they come they're coming down with something or if I'm exposed to something at work I rub it over my glands um, and my combination that I like to use together is um, thieves lemon and frank that's kind of like my little immunity bomb um, sometimes I add oregano it's really spicy but um, I would rather smell like a walking pizza than be sick 
So that's these. Next is peppermint. It's also the Vitality one here. So um, if you want some refreshment, try one drop in a glass of water. Not only will you feel refreshed and you'll fit, it can help you get through that three o'clock slump. Do you know what I'm talking about in the middle of the day? It can also help your digestive system. It's very soothing to the, to the digestive system. And um, it um, also can um, open up, it's like a, it's a magnif, it's a, it's a pusher went topically, but it opens up like your blood vessels and things so um, nutrients and oxygen can get to places. So it just does so much for your body, um, especially if you work out, that's a great one to have. So that's peppermint and like I said, just refreshment in a bottle. Okay, pan away. This one is to support discomforts, okay? This is something that you're going to use topically. This one and this one here, Raven, these two next ones are not for ingestion. They're the only two that don't have a Vitality counterpart. Um, pan away reminds me of the locker room. Um, I like to mix this up in the hard coconut oil. Just mix some up in a jelly jar and it makes an instant little cream. So when you overdo it, you just put it where you need it, okay? Um, great, um, great, great effective oil. I like to mix it with peppermint and copaiba because copaiba is a magnifier. Peppermint opens up the pathways. It's a pusher. Um, so if you overdid it, this is the one I want you to use. What? John fell off our roof yesterday and put it on his, on his knee last night. He wanted to tell you guys that. Um, yes, he was on our roof, um, last night and fell off and busted himself all to pieces. So, and so that's his, well, yeah, he half caught himself and fell. And so he wanted to let you know that he used uh, pan away and that makes me super proud that he knew to do that. Okay, next is Raven. So uh, Raven, that's kind of a different name for oil. So remember R for respiratory. This is a beautiful blend of eucalyptus and wintergreen. Eucalyptus are expectorants, okay? So there's a couple different eucalyptuses. Um, you say eucalypti, I don't know. Um, so when you feel like you're all clogged up, um, you want to put this here, all here, um, on your feet, just like um, the places that your mama put Vicks Vapor Rub. But don't ever use that stuff. It has petrochemicals, and the turpentine is actually a respiratory irritant. So that scares me to death. I just mix some of this up also in the coconut oil. I make a cream, and we use that on the kids when um, they, they need that type of support, okay? So respiratory support. And it's just so invigorating. You'll just you're just gonna love it. The eucalyptus makes it smell like a spa. Okay, citrus fresh is a blend of different citrus oils and spearmint. So it's got a um, it's got a citrus, but then like a nice sweet minty undertone. It smells great. It's great for stinky smells. It also comes in a um, vitality counterpart. So this is a great one also to add to water or tea. And hey, Celeste, welcome. <clears throat> I forgot to mention um, like the mint in the Vitality cit uh, Citrus Fresh and like the peppermint when you put that in your water. It helps with your satiety. It helps you feel full so you don't want to eat. It's a great thing to add if you're trying to do some weight management. Okay, so great thing to add to your water. Okay, frankincense. I know you've heard me say it before, but frankincense, if it was good enough for baby Jesus, it is good enough for me. Um, I think of grounding. I think of like brain power, okay? Um, I think fine lines and wrinkles, okay? It's great to support your fine lines and wrinkles. This is what um, I put in my face serum. Um, sometimes if like nothing else really like makes me feel like that's what I need, I just use frankincense. Just frank it. Just put some frank on. It's very gentle. Um, the smell will grow on you. I didn't think I liked the smell at first, but when you put it on your skin, there's just something about, I guess maybe it just has to be with my skin's chemistry. I love the smell of Frank, okay? Can't get enough of it. Um, and then last is lavender, which usually is what the oil that people do know about. Lavender um, is like the Swiss Army knife. It's good for just about everything. It's, um, it's calming, um, you know, it is good for your skin. It's just, it's the smell that everybody.
Lavender, you're going to be so shocked. I don't know if that cut me out, but um, what I said was, if you've been using, um, okay, thank you. I'm back. Um, if you've been using like grocery store oils or TG.